Hello everyone, today we'd like to talk about how to varnish oil pastels. Um, oil pastels are can be pretty thick, uh, even if you use uh, a thin layer, they never really dry uh, for good. So there's always the risk of smudging them, whether it's in a sketchbook or a piece of paper. You know, when you grab it, you can always like lift it with your fingers. So it's always recommended to frame it on the glass to make sure that it doesn't get damaged. Now I've been trying to figure out how to actually varnish it so that I wouldn't have that problem. In my sketchbook I've been using uh, little pieces of glassine paper like this so that the um, pigments wouldn't transfer to the other page. And make a big mess but I actually found a solution that works pretty well. One way to varnish your oil pastels is to use the Sennelier fixative uh, which is made especially for oil pastels. Um, it's it's pretty popular it works pretty well but um, I've used it on several pieces to try it and while I really like the finish it's it doesn't have a very um, high gloss it's like a very it's barely satin finish which is really nice i find that no matter how many layers you put on uh, you can always transfer a bit of the um the pastels on on your fingers or whatever starching it um, and also something else that it does darken the colors a bit that's what i found uh, with my experience. So I found online uh, several ways of varnishing your work with different products. I found somebody who actually had, I thought was a pretty good idea, just used a layer or two of the Sennelier spray. And then once it was all dry, just use, uh, use a, um, a varnish for oil paintings or a varnish for acrylic paintings and so once it's uh it's dry then um, it's totally waterproof basically and you cannot sc scratch anything off which uh what i was very um attracted to but you know when i was researching it i came across different opinions from different artists saying that it might not be too good considering that the um the oil pastels will still not dry underneath so I was not super convinced. So I decided to contact the Gamblin company. They make the uh, Gamvar varnishes uh, in different finishes. So the satin, the matte, and the, the gloss. And I asked them if I could use Gamvar uh, for oil pastels after maybe spraying the painting uh, with a, a couple coats of um, oil pastel fixative. So knowing that they work well on oil paintings, even if they're not completely dry, I was thinking that it could be a good solution. And so I asked them if they've tested that and if they got any feedback from artists who have tried it. And um, I said their customer service is really good. They answered me uh, pretty fast. And this is what they told me. Oil pastels are tricky to varnish. Gamvar is likely to smear or dissolve the oil pastel. This is because our varnish is made with Gamzol and the varnish is brushed and scrubbed onto paintings with a brush for application. Gamzol is too mild to harm a touch dry or acrylic painting, but has the ability to dissolve materials like oil pastel and oil bars. Due to this reason, we wouldn't recommend Gamvar on art that has oil pastel, oil bars, or dry pigment mediums like chalk pastels and graphite. You may find success experimenting with spray varnish for this type of work. Maybe some tests and trying out different sprays may be the best option to find what works best for artwork that incorporate oil pastel. We have not tested this or have a specific spray varnish to recommend, so you will ideally conduct your own testing before commitment to an important work. And they just don't recommend basically to spray Gamvar uh, because it can be um, unhealthy, you know, if you inhale it, unless you actually use a, a vapor, an, an organic vapor respirator and equipment to uh, prevent you from um, inhaling the vapors because of the uh, the ingredients 
uh, of the product. So anyways, um, I decided to put that aside and not even try. And then again, while I was looking for a solution, I came across a product that I really wanted to try. And here it is. It's the Royal Talons Varnish for Oil Pastels. So there is an actual varnish and it's liquid for oil pastels. So I figured that if they are advertising it specifically for oil pastels, you'd think that it would be okay. Whether it's a medium that dries completely or not, it's supposed to be good. And because it's liquid, you know, you brush it on. So in theory, you shouldn't have any smudging of your work. So I had to put it to the test. I bought a little bottle and uh, was kind of underwhelmed <laughs> at the uh, presentation. The, the packaging is uh, very minimal. Well, I don't really care about it as long as the product works. So let's see, this one, it says, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was not impressed with. Visit our website for more information. <laughs> so it doesn't give you any, any explanation on how to use it and what it's good for or anything, the ingredients, nothing. <laughs> so it's kind of fishy, but I went on their website and this is the information that I found. It says purpose, making work in oil pastel and wax crayon smudge proof. Composition, synthetic dispersion in water with built-in surfacants, whatever that, that is. But it basically doesn't tell you what's in it. Dries within one hour to a colorless, transparent and waterproof finish. Gives a satin gloss, has hardly any effect on the colors, can be thinned with water. Shake before use. Uh, and that's about it. So that's all the information that it gives me. Doesn't say how to apply it. Doesn't say how many layers is required. Doesn't say anything else. So regardless, I tested it in my sketchbook because that's what a sketchbook is for. And for those of you who have been watching my oil pastel videos, you have noticed that I drew a bunch of these eyes, which are from a tutorial from a Black Bean CMS on YouTube and I just wanted to draw the same thing over and over again to compare different brands of oil pastels. So that's why I've got so many here. Um, like I said earlier, I use glassing paper between each sheet to um, make sure that I didn't make a mess. But then I started applying this varnish and <laughs> I didn't need to put those sheets on anymore because at that it's a little shiny so yeah it is a satin finish um a little glossy a bit more than i would like but it's really not that bad it dries really fast and it doesn't stick you know um, and i can just like rub on it it doesn't come off and that's just a th uh, just one coat um like on this, I think on these these pages, I put a thinner layer, so it doesn't um, it doesn't um, shine as much. There's a bit more on these guys, and so here, I've got on the left page, I put a thin layer, and I have nothing on the right page. I have noticed that it really doesn't change the color, which I really like. If anything, it just kind of like gloss varnish, kind of makes them pop a little um, I've applied it on this uh, this finished painting um, this is an old one so I kind of went quick on this one so you do see the brush strokes I probably should have used a bigger brush but I think it's kind of cool that I can just hold it like this and not have any residue on my hands on my fingers um, also real quick while I'm sure while I have these two here this Paper here on the left is the Canson Sand Grain, which I really like for pastels, dry or uh, oil pastels. And here, this was done on oil paper. So paper that you can use to uh, paint with oil um, or, you know, you can use it for different mediums, but um, I wanted to try the difference. And as far as adding different layers, they're both great. But where you see the difference is when you turn them over, you see the oil actually sipping through the paper. 
on this one nothing so if you're gonna be doing something that's archival or that you want to sell you know something that looks more professional i would suggest to use you know more like a, a paper that's more uh, adapted to it i mean this might be okay if you just mount it on something but um, just wanted to show you the difference back to varnishing i just wanted to show you how simple it is basically you just shake the bottle i already i already did it before this video so that I could paint this uh, or varnish this side sorry and then um just to show you that um, it really doesn't smudge anything granted these are a little older uh, they've had time to cure a bit but i just like dip it straight into the the bottle and i just apply it I just got a, a hair that I wanted to remove. Here we go. Just keep dipping and nothing smudges, nothing spreads except the varnish. So I put it all over it. And then Like I've got the excess here, I'm going to put it here for now, but then I try to remove as much of it as possible, and just to keep it as thin as I can. And that's about it. And it also prevents um, any uh, brush strokes, like here, you don't see any brush strokes on these guys. So thin layer, if you want to add another layer after that, go go ahead that's fine but um it's better to go with thin layers like any varnish usually it's better to go with a thin layer and then add several layers if you want uh, more protection so that's about it now just to show you that it really doesn't smudge and like i told you this these are older older paintings i'm going to do a little test um let's see i think i'm going to clip this so it doesn't touch the other page while it's drying um it does dry pretty fast to the touch at least so i'm not super concerned about it but you see these i mean even this one was pretty pretty thick the um, the application of the pastels and it, it did, it was squished a bit from closing the uh, the book itself, but uh, applying the varnish on it didn't really do anything to it. So that's, that was pretty cool. So let's see. Here we go, I can do it right here. I'm not going to do anything fancy, just a little gradient. And I'm going to varnish it right now. So you see nothing gets pulled onto the, the white of the paper. You don't see the red going onto the the orange or the orange going onto the yellow. And if I go like this, there's absolutely no colors that was pulled from the painting itself or the swatches. So you really don't need to wait till your painting starts drying. The only thing you need to be careful of, not like what I did, is just um, little hairs and stuff. So one last thing I can recommend, you know, if you're afraid that um, it's not good to varnish your painting uh, too soon after finishing it, I can understand why. 
there's not much information about varnishing uh, that I could find and whether it's a good thing or not people say just absolutely no no var varnishing oil pastels so to me it's really still an experiment um, but if you want to wait a bit you surely can just make sure you protect your oil pastel because over time there's going to be you know little pieces of dust or hairs falling onto it and then if you want to varnish after that it's going to be a pain in the butt so what happened to this one I, I finished it a while ago in 2022 so yeah it was a little while ago and um as much as i was careful and and tried to to clean it best i could is this tons of little pieces of dust or hairs or whatever the, those are um, that got caught in it so um yeah if you want to wait a bit cover it up somehow with glassine put it away if not just uh you know i would prefer personally this is my choice to just varnish it right away and keep it safe from any kind of dust and hairs and while varnishing if it's a larger piece yeah make sure nothing falls on it and gets stuck to it but yeah that's about it you know not sticking at all which is great for sketchbooks i really like that anyways i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and thank you for stopping by i'll see you soon with another video bye bye